Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sesame with a video here today. Bring us the best free fonts for designers year 2021. So we're starting off this year on the just best note possible, giving you guys the best possible fonts, free fonts for you guys to bring into 2021. Enjoy them, love them, and just like download them. If you guys don't know where to download them, by the way, in the description down below, there'll be individual links of the actual fonts themselves and or a bundle link for you guys to quickly download all of them all together. Either way, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy every single font that you guys see in today's video here today. But if you guys just wanna let me know what you guys are bringing into 2021, let the comments just know, let this just be like the hub of what is gonna be used in 2021 and or what your favorite font was in 2020 itself. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoy. All right, guys, the first font is known as white NT. This display font has a really awesome lowercase set that I think is even cooler than the uppercase. Followed by a full set of punctuation and a number set, it's simply an awesome font that should easily be added to your fonts list. Next font is called Git Sans. It's an awesome bold typeface that holds a lot of character with its really tight kerning and really heavy stance. If you're into urban design, I can see this font really standing out for you as it's full of energy and almost fits anywhere. It would probably work really, really well in a poster setting or even like an album cover setting. Given the fact I feel like at first glance for me, you can just tell this font can easily tell a story. If you're looking for a super easy pickup, this is definitely one to actually add to your arsenal. Up next is a font known as Mauler. This font is super playful and full of movements. If you're in the market for an extra brush font for posters or just a really solid display font, I'm sure most of you guys will find a lot of use cases for this font throughout the year. I do think it can shine really, really well in a solid background color scenario as the preview project showcases. Either being used as like a big letter filler or a main heading, I can feel that this font can get the job done. Following that, our next font is known as Trap. This font is a contemporary sans serif design that has really deep ink traps. That way, for this font, no matter what the display size is, it'll be super legible and just extra crisp. So whether that you're using it as a display font or a subtext, this font is easily a download. Up next is Don Jose. So if you guys are anything like me and create thumbnails for YouTube or something like that, this font is super fun and bold and really can help refresh using the fonts like Peace Sans, Luckiest Guy, and Burbank. It's super trendy leading into 2021 with YouTube thumbnails. It also comes in three really unique different style textures. And you'll definitely be seeing me use this font a lot with my thumbnails in the very near future. I think I'm just kind of overusing the Fortnite and like uh, Among Us fonts and this one is going to be my new replacement. So I'm just saying, if I name the font that you're using currently for your thumbnails, this is like one of those really easy replacements so I would definitely give it a download. And for our final font for the video, it's known as Square. It's a very simple display font with its intentions being characters that can fit into a square easily. So let's say if you're looking for a cool font for a logo with like four or six or eight letters, you can easily make it here by just stacking your letters. Really cool and simple trick if you ever find yourself needing these characters for a nice little logo. Otherwise, it still lends itself as a really awesome display font. All right, guys, that's the end of the video here today. So I do hope you guys really ended up enjoying it. Of course, once again, to download all the actual individual fonts, they'll be in the description down below for you guys. And uh, I was really dead serious on the fact that I want to know what fonts you guys are heading into with 2021. What were your favorite ones in 2020? What you end up using a lot? And uh, yeah, because the last time we did this, I, I gained like what, like three or four fonts. I added three or four of mine to like some of my own. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll tell you guys later. Sesso HQ out. You gotta be Keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. Later, much love, and happy downloading.